Welcome. I'll be reacting to Disney's animated version of Cinderella. I have seen a few scenes here and there, but I've never seen the whole thing. Remember, this is not a market substitute. Please support the original on Disney+. Plus. Jealous of Cinderella's charm and beauty. He dies in like she the first five seconds? The <sighs> That's how I feel about mornings too. Oh, that's what this song is from. I've heard this song, but I didn't know which movie it was in. This mouse's mood. Think of all that cardio. Hmm. <laughs> they remind me of Ewoks for some reason. I know they went with purple and green to try and show that she's a villain, but honestly, I kind of love it. I feel like a cat would just ignore her though. And that's why I prefer cats. I haven't seen any bad points yet about Lucifer, honestly. Gus is gonna get himself into trouble, I just know it. Gus, no. Honey. Gus, no. Cats are so smart. How is she gonna carry all three trays? Whoa, that's impressive. <laughs> Lucifer is so fun. And we're about to hear. Ah! <laughs> Beautiful lighting in this scene. Glad he's not my dad. And see that every eligible maid is there. This king is just as demanding as the stepmother and about as understanding as her. I'm not sure which parent is worse. <laughs> I'm with you, Lucifer. Don't do it, Lucifer. Don't do it. No, this is beautiful. <laughs> He's such a troll. <laughs> I wish more than anything, more than the moon. I wish. It's too bad they can't put that song in from Into the Woods. It'd be perfect right here. Sewing is actually harder than it looks. Especially since they'll be hand sewing. I hand sew all my cosplay and it is a lot of work. A simple seam that if you had a machine would take two seconds. Hand sewing, you're looking at a couple hours sometimes. Grab them. Quick. They'll never get the beads now though. They should have gone for the beads. Why don't you just throw them in the hole? Just like toss them in there. Good thing they have birds to help. How do they know her size? Ooh, that, that could go horribly wrong very quickly. They need to do the sleeves though. She wanted the sleeveless. Oh, she looks so pretty. the tree where her mother is buried? It is in some of the stories. What the world did I do with that magic wand? I was sure it was. That's strange. Akio wand. I say the first thing you need is a pumpkin. She's like, what about uh, all this? I like how it's still a little bit green. We'll simply have to have uh, <laughs> the poor horse is like, I'm right here. Right here. Where did she learn how to waltz if she's been a servant most of her life? I guess she watched dancing lessons, maybe? It's not easy to do, especially in a hoop and with glass slippers, I would imagine. And I can fly. 
Uh, oh my God. Midnight. midnight. You know, if she had just stayed and let him see the spell fall off of her, things would have been way easier. Overkill much? I mean, he's literally attacking his attendants over almost nothing. He's really not fit to rule. The question is, in the original story, she cuts the toes off one stepsister and the heels off another to get the foot into the shoe, and they don't realize it until they start riding away and it fills with blood. I'm guessing they won't do that, but it'd be really cool if they did. You're gonna lock her in, aren't you? Yeah. Gus! Are you guys sure that's the best method to be using? Don't you have one of your bazillion holes somewhere? Oh, that's so many stairs. Can't they get some of the other mice to help? Oh, Lucifer. Just shove it under the door. Lucifer is not having a good day. She'll have it in her pocket or something. Hopefully the prince becomes the king right away, because this kingdom seriously needs a better ruler. <laughs> they definitely updated the story to be way more child-friendly. I grew up with the spiked barrels going down the hill at the end, blood everywhere in this story, so they definitely made it a lot cuter, I would say. Overall, I think it works fine without all the gore. However, I did miss the sense of romance that a lot of the original stories had. I remember one version of Cinderella where the prince becomes extremely ill and she is a kitchen maid in the palace in that one and she prepares him this soup that eventually cures him and that's parallel in storyline to the balls so it really rounds out their relationship a lot more. I was also missing her connection with her mother here, other than the dress that got destroyed. A lot of the Cinderella stories have a tight connection with the mother. In fact, in some of them, there's no fairy godmother. It's her mother's spirit that comes to her and gives her all these gifts. I would say this one is like the icing on the cake. Very sweet, not very substantial, but still quite lovely. I was missing the cake portion though, the really substantial emotional weight that older versions of Cinderella have. And even things like Ever After, which is probably my favorite Cinderella-esque movie. I have seen the live action version from Disney of this, and I'm not sure which one I like better. The live action added a few more extra scenes with her and the prince, but I weirdly felt like she and the prince had a closer connection in this animated version because that whole sequence at the ball was really well done. So while this is definitely a Cinderella light version, I still enjoyed it. I thought it was adorable. Although she's definitely not among my favorite Disney princesses, to be honest. I do have a funny story about it at Disneyland though. My first time was about five years ago when I visited and I didn't know anything. I was in Anaheim for a conference my plane got in pretty early in the morning, so I had a half day and was like, I'll go to Disneyland. So my initial method of figuring out the park was I looked for really long lines and was like, that must be something interesting. I'll get in this line and find out what it is. And one of the lines that I got into turned out to be the one by the castle to see the princesses. Me being completely out of the loop on what was going on. I walked inside, boom, Cinderella in all her glory. And I was like, okay, so probably just take a picture or something. No, she, she talked to me completely in character. I loved it so much. And that was my first 
in-depth experience with a cast member who was a, like a character. I don't know the technical terms for these things. And she was wonderful. Whoever was portraying Cinderella that day, amazing job. So that was really magical. It was a bit of a shock though when I got into the line for what I found out later was the Haunted Mansion. Because again, I knew absolutely nothing. So I was standing in line, I'm like, oh, this is a really pretty Victorian. I had no idea it was haunted. We step into this elevator and I'm like, huh, this is very gothic. And then you know what happens in the ride. Imagine you're standing there and you think you're in a normal Victorian mansion and all that happens. But I will not bore you with more Disneyland stories right now. There are a few more classic animated films that I haven't seen, so look for those in the next few months. If you have a favorite Disney film, let me know in the comments. And if I haven't seen it, I will add it to the list.